Hi, this is Ben Baxter with Accent Software. There's been a lot of talk recently about project manufacturing, a term used to describe people that have a project mentality where they meet with clients and they go through a specification process and they plan out a project for somebody to deliver a high level of customer experience. But within that project are products that need manufactured, products that need built, either internally or through a subcontractor, that require the same tracking of a bill of material, the same tracking of machines and people and processes that manufacturers use. So today we're gonna cover a video that highlights some of the capabilities within Dynamics 365 Business Central that cover exactly that, the project manufacturing mentality. What we're looking at on screen is Dynamics 365 Business Central. Inside of Business Central is the capability to track material, to track a project with steps, time, material, all of the requirements that go into it, as well as production, work centers, machine centers that define the types of machines in process the processes themselves, what machines are used, how long does it take to set them up, how long do they run once they're running. Those types of capabilities are all included within Dynamics 365 Business Central. So now, how do we get all those to work together? Well, the good news is it already works together. That is the great part about this software is that it is for the entirety of the business. It's not for a specific subset or department of the business. It is for every part of the business, the finance, the production, the project, the sales, all of it working together to deliver an internal experience that makes the customer experience better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through some of that. Now I am in a profile that leans towards production. Okay, so what uh, some manufacturers would use. What we see on screen can be tailored to fit your specific needs. But for this video, I'm gonna jump around quite a bit because I'm gonna touch on several different topics. I do encourage you to go and check out our channel, check out the other videos that we have in our playlist and get a deeper dive into some of the capabilities within the different sections of what I talk about. We're gonna keep this fairly high level. I'm gonna talk about some of the project aspects of what a project means inside the software, as well as the production side of it and how the two interact and how they communicate effectively without having to run around to talk to different people and understand what's going on within the organization. So first, we're gonna talk about items. So I'm gonna come up here to my product design and click on items. This is gonna give me an item list. So what we're gonna talk about right here is this little cabinet. And this cabinet is made up of a side panel, of a front panel, a door pull, a couple hinges, and there's other components that'll go into it. But that's the idea, is I have a finished good and I have the different components that go into it. But what we don't see in the item list is the project mentality the time it takes to figure out how many cabinets, how many desks, how many graphic displays go up on the wall that go into a project such as what we'll talk about today, which would be like an auto showroom where you go and buy a car. They have nice displays, they have nice cabinetry, they have nice layouts within their facilities to help induce the customer experience, to help make it better and encourage you to buy a car from them. So we're gonna talk about that in the software terms of how does a company that services those dealerships go about the process of working through that project, scoping it out and delivering a good customer experience to the dealership so that they can deliver a good customer experience to their buyers. So inside the system, we're gonna go look at a job. So I'm gonna just jump over to our jobs list and we're gonna take a look at just two jobs here. One is the, the showroom that we're gonna talk about, and the other is a little bit more complex. I'll talk about this one in just a second. So the first one, I've kept it very simple. So we have a couple different activities that we go through in this project. First is the site survey, where we send someone out, they go and do their measurements, they understand what the room layout is, how many rooms there are, what the, what the customer's requirements are, right? So this is where they're helping build out the, the project itself. Then they're gonna come back and they're gonna do some engineering, some CAD work, they're gonna lay the place out, they're gonna figure out what it's gonna take to deliver on this project. And once they have that, 
they're going to have the list of components. And by components, I mean the actual finished goods, the products that are going to be delivered in the process of making the showroom. So that'll be the finished goods, not the bill of material at this point, the finished goods required. Because remember, we're doing project manufacturing. So the project is, here are the finished goods we need, and then the manufacturing side handles all of the bill of material, the process, the machines and people required to build it, where on the project side, we're just talking about the finished good itself. And then of course, once we have the manufacturing complete, now we're gonna go and install or deliver those finished goods. And then we have potentially a billing stage or multiple billing stages that we build into our project as well. In this case, we just dumped it out into its own stage. Now, this is a very simple example. While we do have clients that go this route, there are also more complex environments that require more detailed tracking. So I wanted to just give you a, a quick look at one that has several different phases involved, and then you can see the activities listed within each of those phases. So a different environment, different requirements, but it is a process of aligning your business needs with what the software does to manage that for you. So there's a lot of capabilities, a lot of information that goes into it. So now what we've done is we've actually listed this finished good on that job. And we can see that by drilling into our finished good itself. So we see that the quantity on hand is zero. That's not a bad thing when we're in a make to order type environment. This is not a video necessarily for the make to stock type environments. Project manufacturing is very much, I have a project and I'm building to it, a make to order type environment. I do have other videos on the stock builds, so feel free to go and check out those videos if that applies to your business. So in this case, we are on the finished good. And I can see a quantity here of 16 on job order, which means I have jobs in the system that are requiring 16 of this cabinet. And I can drill into that number and I can see the specific jobs and the quantities and the cost associated with each of them so that I know what is going to be required and where. Okay. Now when I'm in the production side, I don't want to go item by item trying to hunt and find this information. I want the system to look through all of my items and give me a suggestion on what it thinks I need to do in order to fulfill all of the demand that we have in our business, whether that's a sales demand, whether that's a manufacturing component demand, or a project demand where I have finished good needed for the project. And remember, this is a very sophisticated system. It sees the finished good, it knows that it's gonna suggest the finished good, and then it's also gonna suggest the components or the bill of material of that finished good so that I have everything required to fulfill it. So no more hunting, no more looking through 10 different spreadsheets or calling four different people to find out who has what and how much stock do we have. The system is tracking that for us now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up something called the planning worksheet. The planning worksheet is where the system is doing a lot of the heavy lifting for us. It's checking the supply and demand of the different products to tell us what is needed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna calculate a plan. I have a time horizon in process. I have the data in the database waiting there for the system to chug through it and give us some suggestions. So then it spits back some information. Now on that job, we had 16 of these finished goods and I can see the 10 here, two there, three there. In my environment, I have it set up in this kind of make to order environment. So I have the ability to go and say, well, what is the order that's driving this? And I can see this one is job 10. And if I go to a different line and I say, well, what's the, what's the order that is driving this one? I can see this one is job 30. I can see why the system is making these recommendations. If there are stock levels, I can see that. If it's a lot for lot where it groups the order demand together, I can see that. So the system provides that information to me. I don't have anyone telling me to do it. I have a system to tell me to do it. And then I just have to carry that out if I think it's a good plan, okay? And there's a whole process for figuring out what the MRP should be doing and how I can work with it to make it drive my business and make sure I'm making good decisions based on the data in the system. We love to talk about this. I could talk all day on just the MRP engine and, and how wonderful it is. 
reach out to us, talk to us about it, and we'll be happy to, to dive in on this one. Now you can see, because it's making some of these finished goods, it's also suggesting some side panels, some hinges, a door pole. So it's making different suggestions because I have a finished good that's needed. And that finished good is gonna drive the bill of material demand. And again, the finished good demand is coming from a job. So we're, we're tying everything together just because it's in one system, one database. It's driving the whole business from within it. And it's all in the cloud if I want it to be. So I don't have to keep servers and maintain them on site. I can do it all from the cloud. And again, I'm doing this in a browser. I don't have anything installed on this machine. So you have different options. Love to talk to you about it, uh, but let's keep going. So what is the system doing? So we see these quantities. It's actually telling us make a production order. So what does a production order mean? It means it's going to track the process to make it. It's going to track what work centers, what people are needed, and what material is going to go into it, like our side panels and our hinges. So it's tracking all of that information as well as linking it back to the project or the job. So we could carry this out. Um, we'll take a quick look. I've got other videos that walk through that manufacturing production order process. So I encourage you to check out some of those videos, but we'll just talk about some of the high levels of it. So if I come to product design, uh, I have my bill of material and I have routing. So like I said, I had the cabinet with the different hinges. Don't really want to go into that one, but I'll go into the routing. So we can see for the finished good 1000, which is what I have. First, it cuts it to size, drills some holes, then it goes through some assembly, then some painting. Okay. So different steps again, different example than, than I'm sure your routes are, but this is the concept, right? We have setup times, we have run times, and they vary. Every company that makes a product is different. You're all the same in that you have material and you have a process, but what that material is and what that process is varies greatly. And that's why we have so many different products that get produced in this world is because that's what makes everything unique and special is because it's, it's different. It's the same in terms of how the system needs to track it because you do things very similar. You're just using different processes and different material to create a new product. Great capability within the system. Uh, I'll stop there. I don't wanna make the video go forever. Check out our other videos, call us, reach out to us, talk to us about it. Love to talk to you about project manufacturing or if you're on one side or the other, where you're just a job coster or you're just a production repeat manufacturer. I don't want that to sound bad as, as just, but if you focus on one or the other, that's okay too. The system will do both of those individually just as well as it does together. Reach out to us. If you like this content, if you like this information, please like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and feel free to share and pass it along to anyone you think that could find value in this information. For that, I'm Ben Baxter with Accent Software. Appreciate you spending the time with us today and hope you have a wonderful day.